अप टिल नाउ वी आर जस्ट सॉल्विंग द प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन लामी थ्योरम बट नाउ दिस टाइम वी हैव टेकन अनदर स्टांस एंड नाउ वी विल ट्राई टू सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन नॉट ओनली लामी थ्योरम बट ओनली बेस्ड ऑन थ्री जनरल कंडीशंस ऑफ इक्विलिब्रियम दैट इज सिग्मा एच इज इक्वल टू जीरो सिग्मा वी इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड सिग्मा एम इज इक्वल टू जीरो फॉर दिस नाउ वी हैव कंसिडर ए लैडर वन एंड ऑफ दैट इज रेस्टिंग ऑन ए ग्राउंड एंड अदर इज रेस्टिंग ऑन ए वॉल द हाइट ऑफ द वॉल एंड द वन एंड इज रेस्टिंग इज सिक्स मीटर and the other end of the ladder which is resting on the ground is at a distance of 2 meter horizontally now there is a some weight of the ladder which is acting exactly at the center of that is that is 20 kilo newton and a person weighing 50 kilo is just climbing over the ladder with a horizontal distance of 0.5 meter or an inclined length of the ladder as 1.58 meter one thing it is clear there is no friction between the ground and the ladder and no friction between wall and a ladder so it is a frictionless now still when it starts sliding we have applied a horizontal force p that you can see from here then there will be a vertical reaction because of the ground that i we write it as rg a weight of the person just uh, standing on a rank is 50 kilo newton the self weight of the ladder which is acting exactly at the halfway is 20 kilo newton and there is a reaction of the wall which is generated by rw R W is the reaction of all the wall. R G is the reaction of the ground, and these are the two downward forces acting over here. We are supposed to find out this how much force horizontal force is to be applied at this end. The reaction of the ground that is R G and the reaction of the wall. The three unknowns means we need the three equations definitely sigma h. Sigma v and sigma m, all the th- equal to zero, all is to be taken into consideration. First of all, let us consider that is sigma h is equal to zero. There are only two horizontal forces, one acting this direction, other acting in this direction. So we can say plus R w minus p equal to zero. This is our equation number one. then we go for sigma v is equal to 0 so there are three forces two forces acting downward one force acting upward so we can call that plus rg minus 50 minus 20 is equal to 0 and we can find out the value of rg directly third equation that is algebraic sum of all the moments is equal to 0 now i am taking the moment at this point a because if i take the moment at this is will this will be comes out to be zero and the unknown is only p now this force into this perpendicular distance which will give a clockwise moment that is p into 6 will be give the clockwise moment similarly 20 into 1 it will give the clockwise moment And this fifty uh, into one point five again gives the clockwise moment, but this R G will give the anti-clockwise moment. R G into two that will give the anti-clockwise moment. Then so we can calculate equal to zero, and we can find out the value of because R G is known. R then R the P can be calculated once you have everything is known. All the three unknowns can be calculated. Just calculate, and you just check the answer, which has been already written over here. Now we'll go for the next part. Two spheres of symmetrical diameter, symmetrical weight, is one resting on this wall, 
again i will call this as a smooth but having a reaction and the inclined plate makes an angle of 30 degree with the horizontal this has got some weight this has got the same weight and now it has already written over here wall is frictionless both the spheres have got the same identical weight of each sphere is a stag 10 kilo newton and what we have to find we have to find this value of r1 r2 r3 and the uh, four between these two so there are four unknowns now so how to start this when we are talking about the four unknowns that is r1 r2 r3 and this is the friction between uh, this is the four between the two when touching each other because this will also transfer its weight to this portion to this pier also now when to start with we have to start from here and it is to be drawn like this so from this now using the lamy theorem now using the lamy theorem when this is a on the same level this is the same level so this will be a force acting over here between the two sphere this will be give the direct downward force and this reaction reaction that is r1 three unknowns no there is only one unknown and two unknown that is the uh, force between the two sphere and the reaction r1 substituting these values for the angles because this angle is given as 30 degrees you know this angle is 30 degree again if we draw the horizontal line this again 30 degree all the two angles are known i think rest of the angles can be calculated and find out the value of r1 and s once these now uh, these two unknowns are known then we'll go for the second part and which can be seen here over here because this is nothing but the same thing that that is s then this will be value of r2 this will be value of the weight and the horizontal from r b r b r3 rather r3 how how it is r3 because this is the force which is just giving the reaction over the vertical wall and as we know that this will giving a normal reaction to this wall that's why this is horizontal now we can see there are four forces 1 2 3 and 4 that is weight of 10 kilo newton reaction of the wall that is r3 this is r2 and this is the force which is transferring the load from here s that is you can that comes out to be how much it will be or from here from equation 1 substituting value of all this thing and make sigma h is equal to 0 and sigma v is equal to 0 two equations two unknowns because this is known this is known unknown is only this and this so two equations that is sigma h is equal to 0 and sigma v is equal to 0 two equations two unknown find out the value of this two unknown and check the answer now this is typical type of example that you must have seen when you are just walking on the road you have seen some cranes are moving which are just lifting the car though has been parked wrong wrongly and now this is the vertical post this is a compression member and this is the tie beam the the load is lifted like this over here now these two angles are given this load is given you are just try to extend this over here on this direction because it is nothing but the line of action 
the let it be let it be as such over here so three forces one extended two extended not extended but going on this direction it is three three forces two unknowns these angles are known if you extend this you can find out the angles and you are supposed to find out the answer we have already seen such type of problem but there is a slight change in this problem that here i have given one overhang previously it was only simple simply supported and there was two loads now here two loads are already given but in addition to that there is one overhang and the load is given as 5 kilo newton the distance between the first load and the reaction r a is 2 meter between the two loads it is 3 meter between the third load and the rb that is support rb is 3 meter and overhang is given as 1 meter of 5 kilo newton now we have to find out the value of this reaction ra this reaction rb how to start with there are only two unknowns so we have to apply two general conditions of equilibrium but there is no any horizontal force as such hence we need not to apply the sigma h is equal to 0 then which condition that we should apply now that is sigma v is equal to 0 and sigma m is equal to 0 when we talk of sigma v is equal to 0 plus r a plus r b minus 5 minus 20 minus 40 equal to 0 that is rb ra plus rb is equal to 65 kilo newton this is equation number 1 now i will give a hint to you while calculating the third general condition of equilibrium that is sigma m is equal to 0 either you take the moment at a or or at b it is preferable to take the moment at the last end and not uh, uh, you you can take the moment over here also you can take the moment at here also you can take the moment out here also but if we want to eliminate either of the two then either you have to take the moment at a or you have to take the moment at b so it is preferable to take the moment at b and make sigma m is equal to 0 so force into perpendicular this automatically turns out to be 0 14 into 3 will give the anti clockwise moment similarly 20 into 6 again given anti clockwise moment then ra into 8 gives the clockwise moment and 5 into 9 will again give an anti clockwise moment equal to 0 from this ra can be calculated once the ra is known R A plus R B is equal to sixty five. Equation number one. Find out the value of R B. Let me give the answer. How you are getting answer, and then we will continue when we will be meeting next time.